Hello, my name is Abdullah Rida. I'm an Egyptian student in secondary two. Today we will start our Hello curriculum for this year. And we will begin our first unit. Which is called the word of work. And today we will discuss the part of the Helopedia which talks about Professor Magdi Yakub. And it's a kind of a shortened biography for this professor. Professor, and it says that Professor Magdi Yakub is a world famous heart surgeon. World famous heart surgeon. Umana Kilmet, surgeon, Yani, Garrah. Heart surgeon, يعني جراح القلب هو طبيب لي طبيب عالمي في جراحة القلب. He was born in 1935 in Belbis, a city in Egypt. And he was also he was a son of a surgeon who worked in different parts of the country or different parts around the country. So the family needed to move from one place to another every few years and as a result of this Yakub learned to adapt new situations and enjoyed meeting new people. Because Professor Magdi Akub used to move from a place to another so the he met different people and he learned to adapt new situation and enjoyed meeting new people after that we will know that when his aunt died from a heart disease the reason he decided to be a heart surgeon is that his aunt died from a heart problem so he decided to be a heart surgeon when his aunt died from a heart problem he decided to be a heart surgeon so when he finished his school he studied Medicine at Cairo University and he qualified as a heart surgeon in nineteen fifty seven. We will go to another stage of his life. In the 1960s, he studied at Chicago University in the U.S., in the United States of America. And during that time, he worked with world-famous heart surgeons in the U.S., Okay, now Yakub had 
the experience and the qualifications to do great things. So, in the year of 1973, he was accepted to be a heart surgeon in the hospital of Harefield University of the Harefield in England. Okay, in the 1973, he was accepted as a heart surgeon in the hospital of Harefield, England, and under his leadership, Harefield became the most important heart transplant center all over the country. ومعنى heart transplant يعني زراعة القلب. زراعة القلب. So, under his leadership, Fairfield became the most important heart transplant center all over the country. So, as the most important heart transplant center all over the country in the early 1980s Yakub was a part of a team which made the first heart transplant operation in England Operation in England, and during this time, Yakub traveled thousands of, kilom of kilometers in order to find healthy hearts suitable for the heart transplant operation. In 1986. He worked as a professor of heart surgery. In the University of London. So, in 1986, he worked as a professor of heart surgery in the University of London and although he retired in 2001 he is still working in his field he makes new researches for treatments and recently he has been a part of a team which made heart which made heart parts new heart parts from living cells human living cells he was a part which made new heart parts from human living cells and if you ask why Yakub is still working till uh, in his 70s is now he in that period is in his 70s. If you ask him why do you still working now right now? He said that he believe he can make a difference to people's life and that's the reason why he is a member in a charity in Africa that helps the children with heart problems. So as to summarize what we have mentioned now, 
we will write the important dates in the biography of the Prophet Magdiakub. So, in 1935, he was born. 1957, he qualified as a heart surgeon from Cairo University. In the 1960s, he studied at Chicago University in the U.S. and worked with world-famous heart surgeon. In 1973, he was accepted to work as a heart surgeon in the Harefield Hospital in England. In the early 1980s, he was a part of a team which did the, which made the first heart transplant operation in England. In 1986, he was accepted as a professor of heart surgery in the University of London and in 2001 he retired from his job but he is still working for uh, to find the new treatments by doing researches and so on. So this is the our lesson for today. I think it was easy and and uh, I hope you can you could memorize the dates because they are the main points for the lesson of today. Memorize them well and all the other things will be easy to memorize. And that's it for today. See you next time. Thank you for watching.